chose to research all about blizzards. I chose blizzards because I've never seen a blizzard for myself in person, and I thought it would be interesting to learn more about it. I think the most dangerous part of the blizzard would be trying to walk around in all that snow. A blizzard is a severe snowstorm that has very, very, very cold temperatures and very high winds. This creates blowing snow. A lot of times a blizzard can happen after the snow has fallen and the high winds pick up all of that snow and make it seem like it's snowing even when it's not. Driving and walking outside can be very difficult because it makes it hard to see. Blizzards last anywhere from two hours to 24 hours. How does a blizzard happen? Blizzards happen when strong winds form and warm and cold air meet up. The warm air rises and the cold air rushes in to fill the space, creating the wind. If the temperature is 32 degrees or below, snow may begin to fall. When the snow falls and the winds blow, this can make it difficult to see. If it happens for more than three hours, they consider this a blizzard. What happens after a blizzard? Driving or even walking outside of your home can be very difficult because of the amount of snow accumulated on the ground and blowing in the wind. Make sure you always check your neighbors during a blizzard or after a blizzard to make sure they are okay. After a blizzard from the accumulation of the snow, you may have trees that fall down because they become too heavy from the amount of snow they are holding. Another effect of a blizzard is the freezing temperatures that, bring, that it brings with it. These freezing temperatures can freeze the power lines and cause them to sag, which would stop power from going into your home. Where do blizzards occur? Blizzards occur anywhere where the temperature is 32 degrees or below. This is mostly around the mountain areas and further north towards the North Pole or close to the South Pole. How can I stay safe? To stay safe during a blizzard, you might want to stay inside. If you're caught outside during a blizzard, try to find or create your own shelter. Always have extra food and supplies, batteries, candles, cell phone, and lots and lots of blankets to keep yourself warm. If you do need to go outside, make sure you tie a rope to yourself and to the building so you can find your way back home. How would I feel? If I were in a blizzard, I would probably feel scared if I were outside because it would be very difficult to see and get around. If I were inside with my family, I would feel safe and comfortable. Interesting facts about blizzards. Blizzards have winds that are at least 35 miles per hour or higher. Blizzards happen a day or two after the snow has already fallen. Blizzards can increase the chance of hypothermia. And in March 1888, New York City had a terrible blizzard that killed more than 400 people. Blizzards can happen during the winter, late fall, and early spring. In 2010, a blizzard hit Minnesota and cost more than $22 million to fix the roof of the Viking Stadium.